brainwash. It's just like it always is. The same thing, over and over. I'm 10 years old, it's the day after Halloween, and I jump out of bed, dive into the closet, rip open the trick-or-treat bag, and inhale all the pixie sticks at once. Zow! Quick zoom down the hall to the kitchen and dump a ton of sugar into the skimpy bowl of Rice Krispies. Yeah, you got it. Snap, crackle, and pop. Rice puffs demolished all in one bite. Then I get into it real good, stirring and stirring the soggy mounds of white drifts into the syrupy soul of the milk, dreaming. Magic can be performed either by potions or by the use of magic words and phrases. Among the most powerful of these is the word abacadabra. Dreaming. Yeah. I got freaked out over the accident on the highway. The way the car flipped over, the way the cops were going to have to scan both sides of the road and the embankments around the bridges, the creepy way they would have to decide how to block and then unblock all the exits. But of course, none of that was really my concern. All I cared about was yet another missed opportunity. I didn't even think of the people involved, just the time and my plans and all the fucking supernatural forces so busily at work existing only to thwart me. Me! What did I care? I bolted across the grassy median and onto one of the side roads I knew well. Almost instantly, the solution appeared. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have a Boston cream. I didn't even feel the cold reality of the metal cuffs as they snapped around my wrists. And a glazed stick and a small coffee, extra cream. I didn't even hear the crackle of the scanner sparking from the curb, just the pop of the synaptic break that allowed me to continue on, pretending I didn't know who was at fault. What's that? No. No sugar.